<laughs> Alright, I had to switch it up to uh, post-commentary here, because once Audacity finished, for some reason the audio, like towards the last half of the recording for my uh, commentary, just got all kakamimi, and I didn't want... I figured it would be like a little switch, like I find this spot where it got all weird and then move it but it gets like how my uh or well it got like how my other videos before i was using obs i tried fraps and this one called dx tori i think well what happened when i used those was constantly the game audio would just get out of sync with itself all the time and it wasn't like just a one it wasn't like a quick fix it would just be all screwy. You'd fix it, and then, then two more, and then like less than a minute later, it'd be all screwy again. That's basically what happened with Audacity this time. Like, as soon as I finished recording, it hit me with a not responding error, and then I guess it just recovered it weird. Oh man. Well, now I can sit here and harshly talk about how I played. Uh... It takes me way too long to realize that I can't clear this jump without the gravity suit. Yeah. Yeah, notice it right about there. Um, I don't remember if I was actually smart enough to, uh, go the right way. Oh man, it's still several days removed from when I originally recorded this, and I still really like the music in this area. Oh man. Um, I didn't notice at first with the, uh, little pipes leaking the electricity. I didn't notice that that would, uh, hurt me. So, yeah, I just ran into one right there. And then again, that was... When I originally did that, I thought, like, <laughs> running over the glass, the broken glass, like, made me take damage. And I was like, huh? That's not right. Samus wears armor. And then, a couple seconds later, I figured out what the actual, uh, source of damage was. I like how I just shot that thing and then didn't do anything with it. <laughs> like, it's not like that one hurt me. I just shot it for no reason. <laughs> oh, I think I might have thought that I had the grapple beam on and was going to see if I could uh, grapple laser it. I uh, don't know what my issue here is, specifically. Like, um... Okay, clearly I'm trying to navigate the labyrinthian zone there, but to no avail. Oh yeah, I didn't catch on to the fact that it was a... <laughs> I didn't catch on to the fact that there was a door just straight down from the one that they spit me out of there. So that's why I ran backwards there. <laughs> I spend a copious amount of time trying to figure out what the how to get there. And I never quite do. It's just an energy tank from 
what that, at least I think. I don't know why I thought it was necessary to do uh, two bombs there. All of the power bombing to no avail, am I right? <laughs> oh, that's weird. I thought that I figured out where to go and then turned around to go see if I would miss anything. Oh well, saves the time anyway, because... Oh, I was all befuddled when I saw the little creepy crawly up there. There I go pointing at the screen again. The little creepy crawly up there. Like, trying to, um... Because I was like, why would they do... A really long spike trap there. <laughs> Ow, wow, I didn't do too hot. Chozo man. So when I first triggered this, I thought that that Chozo was going to squeeze me until I was dead, or spike me right into those spikes. Maybe I should have chosen a little bit of a different verbiage, but you get the point. Just throw me right into those spikes because it hates me. But uh, this guy was friendly. He was just helping us out, and I apologized for judging him. And then we got the gravity suit, which was just dandy because now we can travel all of the places, including uh, I don't know why I set off that bomb. I didn't even notice I did it when I uh, first played. I got the uh, gravity suit and then... This is actually a really good way to design the level, that it's to demonstrate what the purple suit does, since it spits you right into the water, and will be like, now you can travel this way. So even if you don't read, so even if you like skipped what description was telling you it could do. You still see for yourself very easily. Yeah. Try to grapple laser those things to no avail. Oh god, I waste a lot of time here. Hold on. I'm gonna be back in a second.
Okay, so I wasted way more time than I care to sit here and watch. Essentially what I did was I tried to go and get that other, um, collectible. In the room above the, uh, spike hallway that you gotta grapple over. But, unfortunately... Uh, oh wow, yeah, this room was fun. But unfortunately, that did not yield any results. Either I wasn't getting what I was supposed to do, or just plain sucking. And, yeah. So, I wasn't going to spend several minutes of time sitting here watching that when literally nothing comes from it. That would be a bit of an... that would be some unnecessary padding. I did, however, manage to screw myself up pretty badly, if we go by how much uh, energy I have left. Jeez. Just slowly trucking along at 32 there. This happens. Just barely hanging on. See, it would be patience, patience testing for me to uh, sit at such low health. I do get that really nice energy tank get, thankfully, right when I need it. It would be very patience testing for me to get uh, her play games from, you know, years past with very low health because, you know, the annoying low health beeps, not my favorite thing. I think I would try to not, you know, risk, or if I were playing Devil May Cry and it like beeped at me when my health got low, first of all, I may not be able to play anymore, <laughs> second of all. Oh man, I would try. I would have to drastically adjust my play style to not be so risky. Like I remember times in Zelda where my health would get low. God, the Ocarina of Time and uh, were the were the sounds the same in Majora's Mask, or did it change your like low health tone? to something else in Majora's Mask. I would tend to think that they're probably the same, but I don't remember for sure. But that, like, ingrained into my head. Anytime I get low on health in any Zelda game, I'm just always thinking that. So I'm always thinking of that noise. I can't imitate it. I'm bad at imitating that. I'm bad at imitating sound effects. Most of the time. Oh, I putz around in that little labyrinthine area for a while, too. Ow. Got got by that crabby thing. That one didn't get me, though, thankfully. Um... I guess I didn't get it. I didn't get the correct route right away. Oh, 
it only takes me another minute or so to figure out what I'm doing. I think I try to check every spot just to make sure that I don't miss like another obtainable thing. Oh yeah, that, don't super, stop wasting your super bombs you moron, you already blew the hole. See I think it took noticing the gray block come back to see what was what the deal was there. Still takes me a few attempts on the jump there even. Cause I suck. There we go. Oh no, not yet. There we go. See, now this is an acceptable time, acceptable time to use your power bombs. And then we make it to the new area with really cool music. It kind of reminds me of the uh, music from the little clip they show at the beginning, but on like a in like a different tone or key. I don't know what the exact musical term there is. It just kind of reminds me of it. I don't know why I stopped in front of the door after I opened it there, but I hop in the save room and save it, and that's about it. So, until next time, thank you for watching, and follow me to Apex.